Dulex tenemos la tradición de producir con los mejores ingredientes. Para que tu familia disfrute y comparta alimentos ricos y nutritivos. Pruébalos. Eh, hello, eh, Antonio. I'm David, and the video that you saw was the company that we visited in the semester. Um, the company basically is in Prolac um, by Dulax. Um, okay, and the, the group is integrated by Luis Cajiao, Erika Valencia, Maria Isabel Almeida, uh, and, and me. <laughs> okay, uh, the visit that uh, the visit was on April 26 uh, in this year. The duration was approximately four hours. Four hours. Um, the tour guide was Cesar Valencia. Um, okay, the next. Yeah, okay, the company. Uh, basically, the company has 128 employees. Uh, at the reprocessing company size in 1990, the sales nationwide, the maquilas is from is, is to Supermaxi, La Fabri, La Key, La Originia, Mi Comisariato. Uh, approximately, it produces uh, 40,000 liters of milk per day. And uh, other things that the company uh, do is the use of the whey. And they 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 drink for 40% whey and 60% milk. And the concentration of whey is for sale. Yeah. Okay. The products that Dulux offers to consumers is. Uh, leche condensada, yogurt, uh, dulce de leche, cheese, um, in general other products uh, about the about the milk, the derivates of milk. Uh, one of Dulac's uh, most interesting products is dulce de leche. This is uh, a product that can be found in three presentations, uh, 500 grams, 250 grams, and 125 grams. See? Uh, the the most important uh, quality control are the bricks yeah. and the David le puedes quitar o sea, esta parte y dejarlo de la rasterización yeah, yeah, yeah. and also uh, another uh, test that is done is the mm -hmm. sensory evaluation so, yeah. in order also. to maintain the characteristics and organoleptic uh, properties of the of the product so uh, why is important uh, this uh, some characteristics of this uh, product is that uh, the milk starts with 12, approximately 12% 12, uh, of solids and uh, the final product will have a, a concentration of 75 uh, approximately. So uh, in order to start, uh, the, the raw material is the milk and uh, you have to fill a vertical storage tank with pasteurized milk in order to killed uh, the bacteria that is um, the first uh, step is to fill a vertical storage tank with pasteurized milk it is important to pasteurize milk because you will kill all the pathogens that are uh, present in the process of the cow milking um, then uh, you have to add different uh, ingredients like sugar and hydrolyze it with lactase in this process it is used uh, 0 0.025 grams per 400 liters of milk. The second step is to add different ingredients like sugar and hydrolyze it with lactase. This enzyme, uh, the activity of this enzyme is 0 0.025 kilograms per 400 liters of milk. It is important because it will cut the um, it will cut the bonds between uh, galacto galactose and glucose. The next step is to pump uh, the prepared milk into four different cooking tanks and keep the fluid in motion. Uh, the, the motion of the fluid is in order to have an homogeneous, uh, homogeneous mix and to distribute correctly and properly the enzyme in the milk. Uh, next, we open the valve with the cooking tanks to release steam and begin the evaporation process. As I said uh, previously, you have to uh, concentrate the solids in order to have the final product with 75%. Then, when you allow the water to evaporate, 
milk will start uh, to gain vis viscosity and it will gain the caramelized color because of the Maillard reactions that will produce uh, the characteristic brown product of the, of the dulce de leche. The next is to take a sample to see if the final product is ready by measuring the bricks and the final product will need to have from 25 to 32 bricks. Finally, you have to let the product cool and proceed to proper packaging process and delivery for your consumers and supermarkets. One of the biotechnological components that Dulax uses is the lactase enzyme. This enzyme can come from Cliveromyces marcianus and Cliveromyces lactis. Um, the, the company uh, buys this lactase from the Dutch company Novo Siemens. So the actual name of the enzyme that they buy is beta-galactosidase. Its density is of 1.15 grams per milliliter. Its color is light yellow. It comes in liquid form. Its composition is 52% glycerol, 44% water, and 4% beta-galactosidase. And its activity is 6,500 6, neutral lactase units per gram. The importance of lactase in Dulax Dulce de Leche is that it gives, uh, it gives Dulce de Leche its shiny appearance. Also, it gives Dulce de Leche its characteristic texture. It prevents the crystallization and it also prevents the terrious texture that lactose can cause in the Dulce de Leche. So, what is the opinion of Trigenics Foods of the company? So, um, the company uh, does not use any trigenic ingredients, but if eventually their use is, is necessary, uh, Dulax will analyze it. Uh, it will uh, follow the food laws and it will claim uh, them in its products. Uh, the company thinks that in the future they could get to use a transgenic uh, soy lecithin. Especially the manager, Roberto Cadena, thinks that the genetic, genetically modified organisms could, could help to improve the food in general since they increase the components in the food and it has not been uh, scientifically uh, proven that the, they, these organisms are dangerous for health. Additionally, their use is very useful, is very useful uh, for the integrated uh, management of pests as they uh, avoid the use of pesticides which contain a large um, amount of chemicals. And they also avoid uh, chemical resources such as the, the use of additionally um, their use is very useful for the integrated integrated management of pests as they avoid the use of pesticides um, which contain a, lar a large amount of chemicals uh, they also avoid chemical and biological contamination uh, of optimizing uh, optimize the use of uh, resources such as the use of of space for crops. Uh, finally, they uh, he believes that transgenic foods foods will guarantee uh, food for the world's pop population for a longer time, and that is the and. That in the long run, we'll, um, we will we will all use uh, this foot. So as conclusions, we can say that the company is open-minded to new changes. They know that the future comes along with GMO GMO products, and the use of GMOs uh, will help them to grow as a company. 
by making them more efficient. Uh, apart from the use of biotechnological ingredients, the company was chosen because they use a semi-continual system for the elaboration of manjar de leche and the evaporation is uh, of a sending film uh, unique in the country. Um, as a recommendation, it is suggested uh, the use of vacuum uh, in the process and the use of other stabilizers and that are uh, of bio biotechnological origin. And that's it. Thank you. Okay, so for our next presentation, we're going to talk about the proposal project for the production of biotechnological supply used in the food industry. So we chose to make it about uh, the enzyme lactase. The definition of lactase is, um, which is also known as BD galactosidase, uh, it is an enzyme that is responsible for digesting lactose. Um, it is composed of an oxidase and a, that is responsible for the breaking of, B, of B14 glycoside bond to release glucose and galactose. Um, it is produced in the small intestine with low levels in human organism and there are difficulties in digesting lactose. Uh, its importance, uh, basically the importance of lactase is that it is responsible for the hydrolyzation of lactose in two parts, glucose and galactose. Uh, its lack causes that the lactose does not hydrolyze, so when it arrives uh, to the colon, it ferments and produces hydrogen and carbon dioxide and lactic acid. Um, these substances irritate the intestine and can cause various, gas various gastrointestinal manifestations such as intestinal inflammation, nausea, flatulence, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and even nutritional problems due to deficiency in the absorption of nutrients. The problem of lactose intolerance is generated. Yeah, so lactose intolerance is a problem and the symptoms may vary in each individual depending on the amount of lactose ingested. Uh, the degree of intolerance and the type of food consumed that usually begin between 20 minutes or 2 hours after the ingestion of lactose. So now, uh, in order to solve this problem, there are some lactase pills for lactose intolerant people. Okay, so... Um so uh, the use the, of lactase in, fun, in food industry is required um, that the food industry develop a new technological alternatives and incorporate new ingredients to allow to damage or eliminate uh, the annoyances produced by la, lacte, lactose. Um, the, emplo the employee in the late delayed milk uh, helps to hydrolyze uh, lactose and the milk must have a head tre treatment between a uh, 40 uh, to 45 Celsius degree so that the, lac the lactate lactase uh, reacts qu quickly and an optimal pH of uh, 6.5. Uh, the hydrolysis is uh, a achieved after 5 to 6 hours uh, maintaining the temperature. temperature. Uh, preparation of sweeteners and uh, uh, syrups. Uh, it occurs because transforming lactose into a mix mixture of its glucose and galacto galactose monomers pro produce a sweet sweeter flavor. Uh, as we mentioned before in the uh, dulce de leche of Dulex. Um, ice creams with minimal lactose content uh, prevent the formation of granular or uh, sandy sediments. Uh, soft products are given to the uh, palatate with a hydroly hydrolyzation between uh, 20 to 50 percent of the lactose by the addition of lactase. Um, 
micro, uh, other use is microencapsulation. Uh, used as an additive, the re release is expected to be in the intestine uh, after uh, ingesting the food because due to the protective effect of the en of the en encapsu encapsulant, uh, the enzyme overcomes to pass pass passage through an acidic pH and thus acts at, um, at basic pH in the small intestine and acts on the lactase hydrolysing hydrally, hydrally it. Uh, this technique has been increasing in the food industry due to the protection of encapsulated material from factors such as head, humidity, and also barriers. Uh, this segment has been increasing in the food industry uh, due to the, pro the protection of encapsulated material from factor as heat, humidity, and also barriers again, but, uh, uh, but others and flavors allowing to maintain its stabil stability and viability. So, uh what is the importance of the use of enzymes? Uh, enzymes can be helpful in the production uh, of the industry because it is used as a, as a product that can catalyze a uh, chemical reaction uh, by lowering its activation energy. But where are uh, enzyme, where enzymes come from? They come from living organisms, organisms and can be found in the in mostly in uh, microorganisms. They can be uh, their they can be uh, these components can be produced internally or externally of the from the microorganism. So uh, you have to select uh, depending on uh, what the organisms uh, can do for for you. So. Uh, there is five steps in order to produce a food enzyme. The first step is the enzyme application. In this step, you have to verify what is the importance and what you want the enzyme to do. So in, the, in our case, the enzyme will be used uh, for lactase uh, uh, hydrolysis in milk. The next step is the enzyme functionality. So uh, the functionality of this uh, enzyme will be uh, separate the lacta lactose into um, into galactose and glucose. Then the discovery. In order to do the discovery, you have to do samplings and uh, from soil uh, samples from different uh, from different sources sources that can be very helpful in order to uh, detect the the enzyme that can uh, have the functionality you desire. Then it comes the enzyme optimization. What is the enzyme optimization? It uh, tells you the, the steps you have to follow in the fermentation process in order to have the higher yield of production. And finally, uh, the enzyme production where you add up uh, the optimization process in order to produce it uh, in, for industrial uh, sales. So when you have the, the final enzyme, you have to, uh, you will need to, to create a bioreactor. What is a bioreactor? Is a manufactured or engineered? So when you have uh, the enzyme, you need to create a bioreactor. What is a bioreactor? Is a manufactured or engineered device or system that supports a biological active environment. Um, in a BR reactor, it involves chemical processes which are carried out by the living organism or by biochemically uh, active um, by biochemically active substances that are de derived from the organism. Beta uh, galactosidase production will start with the isolation of Cluberomyces lactis strain Y1118. This is a wild strain 
and it has uh, the advantages that it is cheaper and it, we, if, uh, if it is used in a process, you won't have to pay uh, for, the, um, for the use of a recombinant uh, yeast. After the isolation, you will have to do the fermentation, where you put the, uh, an optimum uh, media for the growth of the yeast. Then you can you follow the recovery process where you extract uh, the beta galactosidase from the intracellular uh, that is an intracellular compound, and finally you have to do a purification of the enzyme. So the production detail: how we could uh, uh, grow the in the fermentation process. The growth media composition is YPD. So the production detail: so so the production detail, uh, the growth media composition. YPD will contain lactose 30 grams per liter, yeast extract, potassium phosphate 2 grams per liter, uh, ammonium diacid phosphate 1 gram per liter, magnesium uh, sulfur 1 gram per liter, and P this have to have a pH of 7 in order to have a, a stable medium that can be used for fermentation. Then, how is the production detail? It, it starts with the inoculation of a 2% pre inoculum culture. With, this will have an initial cell concentration of 0.05 grams per liter. The fermentation conditions will be 30 uh, grades centigrade for 72 hours with uh, agitation. This will help the aeration of the, of the medium. And the conditions are 200 revolutions per minute. So, how is the recovery done? Uh, as I said, this uh, is an intracellular compound, so we will have to uh, extract it from the, from the cell. How we can do this is by cell disintegration method called vortexing cells with glass beads. What will we will do these glass beads is a mechanical sharing for yeast lysis. Cells from culture medium can be recuperated by centrifugation with the conditions of 4,700 gravities, 10 minutes, and 4 uh, centigrades. The agitation with 1 millimole of gla with one millimeter glass beads for 10 minutes. Then a resuspension of cells in 50 millimoles phosphate buffer, uh, pH 6.6, .6, on a biomass solvent ratio 40 milligrams for, uh, per milliliter. Then a centrifugation with 5,200 grams uh, gravity, sorry, for 30 minutes and 4 uh, degrees Celsius. Finally, a supernatant filtration with a 0.5 micrometer filter for purification. How is the, then the purification process? How is, will be the purification done? By ion exchange chromatography. What uh, is the characteristic of ion exchange chromatography? It will be the, the charge of the compound and will be attracted by uh, its electronegativity. Then the purification process is by ion exchange chromatography. What is an ion exchange chromatography? It's a process in which you uh, make uh, an exchange depending on the uh, charge of the molecule. So if it is positively charged and you have an uh, immobile sketch on surface, you will, uh, you will not get a link between these molecules. So the, uh, the, the, the objective of using ion exchange is to trap the, in the interest uh, analyte and let the rest of the solution to go to waste. So for what are the chromatography process components for this uh, process? Will be 10 millimeters uh, and 20 centimeters fixed bed column with Q Cepharos fast flowing resin, which will trap the, the, the uh, desired component. We will use a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. So how, the, how many uh, extract will we, will we use is a 50 milliliters of beta galactosidase extract that was uh, obtained from the previous step in a pH of 7.5. Then uh, in the process, we will use a linear flow rate of 40 centimeters per hour, and also uh, a washing solution of uh, sodium chloride, one molar, 
and a concentration of one molar and 25 millimoles of phosphate buffer uh, pH 6.6. Why is important uh, the purification? Because when you do the process of yeast destruction in order to take out the, the compound, you will have many undesired uh, products, including uh, the that are present in the cell. Uh, so with the purification, you can have a uh, only the only the component that you desire. How is the biomass concentration measured and activity? This is made by spectrophotometry uh, using a, a lambda of 620 nanometers for the concentration. Uh, measure the cell dry weight and a lambda of 420 nanometers for beta galactosidase activity which uh, measures uh, oxynitrophenol so the results will be uh, a 12 fold purified enzyme with an 88.5 percent of recovery in the uh, chromatography described in the previous step okay so uh, continue with the presentation and the price in Ecuador the production is focused on obtaining skin meat, so the product to be used uh, corresponds to the lactose and zinc max lac. For this case, the company Agroalimentar CA was consulted and it was found that the kilogram of max lac 5000 NLA per gram is $100 per kilogram plus blood, and NLA means neutral lactose, lactose unit. So, the Agroalimentar is a company founded in 1997 for the importance and distribution of additives from uh, the food industry. It offers products of, uh, for the dairy industry, rennets, lactic future, enzymes, dyes, preservatives, flavoring, and uh, laboratory equipment. Uh, to obtain the lactose activity is uh, follow the next steps. The enzymatic lact activity of a lactose solution is determined by hydrolysis of a substrate of nitrophenyl and beta galactoparanosis or OMPG in the nitrophenol and galactose. The reaction is stopped by the addition of sodium carbonate since the resulting of nitrophenol is yellow, is in an alkaline medium, change in absorbance are used to determine the semiotic activity. Okay, so uh, the international price uh, was formed based on enzyme capsules because there are many sizes of capsules and, and tablets. Um, based on based on observation, is considered uh, that any of these has an approximate content of 350 milligrams. So uh, the products were two: the lactose enzyme tablets, a uh, 5000 FCC, that have 150 tablets that is equal to 12.50 euros and that's equal to 14 dollars and this corresponds to a 52.5 grams and a calculated in the relation of the data previous is correspond to 2000 uh, sorry 266.66 and the other product was the scientific and science with taste that is a, a 100 capsules and this is equal to 11.73 euros, and this is equal to uh, 13.14 dollars, uh, and this is equal to uh, 35 grams. 35 grams, yeah. Uh, okay, the, and this corresponds to <coughs> a conversation of 375.43. So we know uh, we. Uh, we evidence that the price is around uh, 200 and 300. So, uh, the sense uh, for this, uh, we consider that the meat production is 5 million 300,000 liters per day, and the consumption of the lay milk is 99%. Other data that we uh, we search is that in Ecuador, 70% of the population is lactose intolerant. And it is now that in Ecuador there are uh, 17 uh, million uh, 96,789 uh, inhabitants. So we calculate the people in Toronto Lactus multiplying the, this data to the 70% that is equal to 11 uh, million uh, 9,067. 9, uh, is so, okay. 
yeah now the cells the cells was a uh, first aim uh, okay now the cells uh, for cell it is considered that milk provision is 5 million 300 thousand liters per day and based on a study by Grijalva, a study about an innovative system for the marketing of milk in Ecuador, it was found that the consumption of the lake milk is 9% in a survey of 322 people, which corresponds to 30 people. Now it is considered that in Ecuador 70% of the population, population is lactose intolerant. And it is now that in Ecuador there are 17 million. 60, uh, sorry, uh, 96,789. So, uh, the calculation was the, 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 the follow. The people in turn, to calculate the people in turn to lactose, it will, uh, multi uh, we need to multiply the, the inhabits by, by 70% and we have this result. So, uh, the next people who consume one liter of the lactose meat the day, is 9% so the previous data multiplied by 9% and we obtain the other results and then next uh, we consider that a total of a uh, five five thousands a uh, five sorry five millions three thousands is one percent and the others is the uh, the the data that we didn't know so correspond to 20 uh, 30 32 percent so the cost analysis the production and the marketing of the lactose milk uh, has a cost of uh, 38 cents and this was obtained that the in in a research so regarding the approximate size you get the price and the profits so uh, the cost of the production and the price delay of meat are considered or uh, the similar is to mention that the, the lactose meat and based on a study by Lagos about the fa fa activity of the production and marketing of the lactose milk uh, was a cost of thir three, uh, 30, uh, 38 cents so, uh, per liter. And it is taking into account that the average price of the, la the lactose milk is $1.10. So we calculate the gain per, the gain per liter we this equation and later we calculate the approximation total gain and we obtain this so uh, the viability it needs to be taken into account that the value represents only an approximation and it is important to mention other thing is that in addition it is not taking into account the energy cost, the personal, the machinery and among others and we calculate that the again greater the gain greater than 50%, and so this thing, uh, this means that it's valuable. So the study was good, and uh, that's all. So we uh, we finish with this. Uh, thank you.